ayon ng mataong lugar, kalikasan at katahimikan ba ang gusto? Ito na ang ideal place sa pagod food for you. Morning, maga pa. Morning. Welcome to my room. Asok. This is uh, one of the six villas that are available for uh, occupancy. It's good for two. It's a uh, 5,000 plus plus. Kasama na dyan ang breakfast for two and uh, free uh, free activities. Na tour kayo ng mga local folks. It's very minimalist, and then they have like non-painted walls kasi yung iniisip nila kapag hindi painted it, it will definitely last forever and I, I dig this it's simple it's clean um, you got really um, nice uh, bathroom amenities uh, towel you've got toilet paper the works shampoo free toiletries um, see looks modern very nice Ah, oo nga pala. Yung natulog ako dito kagabi, me medyo meticulous ako sa unan. Meticulous din ako sa comforter. And the comforter should match the temperature of the room. So may mga ibang hotel rooms kasi na parang lakas-lakas ng aircon, pero yung blanket mo, kasing nipis ng balat ng sibuyas. Parang wala ka rin talagang... Anyway, eto, match. Sakto naman yung temperature. Of course, you can adjust them in the temperature, but the comforter is just, just, just right. Not thick, not too thin. Uh, pillows are very comfy. Bed, slept like a baby. You see the farm, the mountainside, and the beach. More can you ask for? <sighs> but, uh, hey, kahit sang ka matulog, it, the view is really nice. Very peaceful. No signal. Pinag-usapan namin. Wala masyado signal for, I mean, for your cell phone. So, habol mo talaga peace and quiet. This could probably your, be your next destination. <sighs> I just, oh, just want to sleep again. So, how was your sleep? Did you like I it here? I slept like a baby. Oh, good, oh, good, good, good. Uh, it's funny that the sunlight woke me up, which mm -hmm. is a good timing because that's when I usually wake up. Uh, good. So you're, you're, you're a morning person. Very morning person. Oh, who is this guy? Okay, this is our uh, guest relations officer. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. GRO. Yes, okay. <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> Actually, he does his swimming in the ocean every day. And, and then he is a very friendly to even kids. He, he was saying that. What's his name? Mucho. Mucho. Mucho! Yeah. Nagpapa piggy bank pa na yan. Eh. Yeah, he normally ano, actually guides the guests. Ah, okay. But of course, his first destination would be the river. And then the river is over there, it's at the end of the trail. Parang that's one of the reasons, that, that one of the activities that, can, that the tourists can do, no? Yeah. Ang beach at mountain resort na to ay swak para sa mga gustong mapag-isa. Mga nagmumuni-muni. O gustong iwan panandalian ang maingay at magulong buhay ng syudad. Para din ito sa mga magulang na gustong iparana sa kanilang mga anak ang buhay na walang cellphones o kahit anong gadgets. Wala talagang signal no. dito, no? I okay. mean, make no. it a fate. Wala. Okay, so there's, it's really hard for the Wi-Fi. Right. But if you have your 3G capability. Pero parang it's working for you because parang that's what you want. That you know, is what, you, exactly. What when you when want. one comes here, parang you want like peace and quiet. I think that's uh, These are the uh, guests that we attract. They come here and these are the children who realize that yeah, they can survive a day at two and then on the third day, they don't want to go home anymore. Because mm -hmm. they enjoy the, the river, the, the, the dogs. Right. They go out to the ocean on their own. Kung farm life o buhay probinsya ang hanap nyo, ito ang resort na para sa inyo. They can, what, track the river? Is it uh, oh, oh, you shallow okay, enough? Okay, okay, there's a trail. Of course, you go to the trail and then you will see our organic farms. Parang bahay kubo na to, kahit punti. So, and then yung mga talong, mga native. And then, 
We have the, a lot of herbs like this one. Yeah. That's already the basil. Although ito yung medyo matandang basil, but then the flowers are good also. Okay. 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 And then yun mga tarragon, yun yung nilalagay namin sa tea. Mm -hmm. and the tarragon mint. And then you do you see that blue flower? But it's also edible. That's what you eat for breakfast. Ah, okay. So okay. whatever we put in the plate all Galipo the flowers, lahat ng, ng ano yan, sangkap na ano yan, lahat ng mga leaves. Mm. It's all ano, edible. At may sikreto rin sila para mapanatiling malinis ang lugar. We have a vermicomposting thing. Okay, so wala kaming waste sa kitchen waste. Mm -hmm. Kaya kaninang kumain kayo ng breakfast, there are no flies. Kasi walang nagkalat na basura. Right. So from the kitchen, lahat ng pinaghimayan uh, dyan, we put it in the vermicompost. Okay. Tapos yung lahat naman ang tira ng guests, hindi sa kanin baboy pupunta eh. Right. It's to the ducks. They eat everything. Ang vermicomposting ay isang paraan ng paggawa ng natural na fertilizer gamit ang isang uri ng bulate. So, una, you have to have yung vermi. Tinatawag na bulate. Durog sa, sa ano, Ilocano or Tagalog. Okay, pakita mo manong. Ayan, 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 mga ganyan. They call them the night crawlers. So, ang ibig sabihin, active sila kapag ka madilim na. Kaya, para lagi, pati araw, nag, kumakain sila, nilalagyan namin sila ng ano, cover roof. Okay. So, ano yung binibigay mo namin pagkain? Yung mga kitchen waste. Yung mga gulay din. Right. Tapos ilalagay. Tapos pati ito, yung kinakain uh, din nila. nila. Basta green, kinakain nila. So, and then, siyempre, pagka kinain nila, mm -hmm. madudurog na siya. Yeah. Ito na yung soil. So, this is very rich na in nutrients. Ito nga yun ang linalagay namin sa mga plots. So, tignan mo ang labat. These are the organic vegetables already. This is pretty much like a self-sustaining, self-sufficient yes. yes. uh, yes. resort. Yeah. Actually, this is what uh, I'm trying to give them a, a, what they can do, the, the locals here. Right. Because the resort came about because of the community. Right. Matagal na hindi pinansin ng pamilya ni Miss Bing ang lupang ito na pagmamayari pa ng kanyang ina. How big is this area na pwedeng ma-enjoy ng mga turista kapag pupunta sila? Okay, as for now, if you're looking at the gardens, the trails, Sigur, this is like six hectares now. The land is owned by my great-great-grandfather, which was passed on to my mom. She made a, a will na kami mga anak niya, you met my, one of my brothers, we cannot sell any piece of her land. And then, ang sabi ni mami, okay, magre-resthouse kayo, huwag niyong paalisin yung mga informal settlers. Magtsaga lang kayo, kaya yan ang ugali nila kasi hindi nakapag-aral. Pero, the empowerment because I was teaching the refugees ibang lahi di ba but sabi niya kung nagagawa mo yan sa ibang nasyon bakit hindi yung ating sariling ano kapwa Pilipino magtiyaga ka lang you put you stay put doon ka lang ilan po yung mga taong working okay. under you we have 50 families in the land of my mom okay and then here kasi we have like I have only 10 permanent girls with or without guess you would have like two, at, at least 15 with the guards and the gardeners but when there are a lot of guests, like the 30, 35 years. Wow. How many rooms? Like how many people can you accommodate? Okay, right now sitting? with the 14 rooms, 14 that rooms, we allow the guests to uh, stay. We have like like 70 to 75 comfortably okay. in the rooms. Right. But then we also have a campsite. There, so they can bring their own tents. There, you can bring your own tents, mm -hmm. and you also have rents, uh, tents to rent. Right, right. So like uh, for team building, you know, na uso ngayon sa amin. It's mid June, but dito kasi iba yung ano na. This is our uh, summer from June, July, August, Bakit? early September. So that is an, uh, an, an option for people like in the other areas. It's raining there, so kami yung pwedeng puntahan. Ah. And then this is a rainforest. It never really gets so hot, hot, hot. Ah. Uulam pa rin yan sa hapon para magbilay. Isa sa mga dating informal settlers sa lugar na to, si Ati Beth, na ngayon ay empleyado na sa resort ni Labis Bing. Nung wala pa po ako sa pansyan, Sa tabing dagat po, nagtitinda po ng isda. Dito po sa pansyan, marami po ako natutunan. Unang trabaho ko po dito, taga-ugas ng plato, taga-walis po sa tabing dagat. Natuto po ako makihalubilo sa iba't ibang tao. Natuto po ako makipag-usap sa mga guests namin, mag-guide ng spring. Saka natuto po ako magluto ng iba't ibang putahing klaseng luto. Tapos natuto rin po ako paano po mag-housekeeping. 
Hindi na rin problema ang pagpasok nila sa resort dahil halos kapit-bahay lang nila ito. Malapit lang po yung bahay po namin, walking distance lang po. Katulong po ito para po may taguyod ko po yung pamilya ko. At naanuhan ko po yung mga anak ko yung mga pangangailangan nila sa eskwela. Pero maliban sa pagkakaroon ng mas malaking kita, may nagbago rin kay Ate Beth. Uh, natuto po ako mapagkumbaba, natuto po ako magpakorek, kasi dati po akong pilosopo. <laughs> uh, dati po akong matigas ang ulo, pero noon po lagi kami napagsasabihan ni ma'am, kasi yung pagsasabi niya po, is hindi po pagali, kundi pangangaral para po may ayos po namin yung sarili namin. Dahil maraming tanim ang resort na to, hinihikayat nila ang kanilang mga staff na magtinda rin ang kanilang mga produkto. An incentive also for our employees, whatever we sell, because they sell, so one half of that goes to them. So it's an incentive, addition now to their wages and their tips, so, and then they also take good care of it. And then one thing also is they, they buy from the farm one half the price. Ah, okay. So, employees know. discount. Yes, yes. Mukhang maraming bunga ang bukid nila ngayon ah. Kaya pinakitaan nila ako ng kanilang mga specialty mula sa kanilang ani. Subukan ko kong na-memorize ko. Okay. Halos lahat, if not lahat, ay galing dito. Simulan natin sa bread. Na may pesto. Okay. Probably your... Uh... Ayun. Masarap. Para mamaya na yan, ayoko busugin sa lilig ko sa tinapay. I think, yung gusto kong i-highlight dito yung munggo with bagnet, which is a personal favorite. But this one is very interesting dahil ginamit nila yung mulberry. This is uh, their mulberry laing. Now, hindi sila gumamit ng gabi leaves. Gumamit sila ng leaves mula sa mulberry. And, of course, the berry itself. Very I'm curious how it tastes like and what it tastes like. Texture is... You pick it mo, para di siyang gabi leaves. Now, this is interesting then, dahil being used are beef with uh, wild malunggay in Bugnay wine. Yan yung tira natin kapag nasa uplan tayo. Lalo na dito sa Ilocos. <laughs> Makakalising to, pre. Mmm. Actually, ako oh nga na meron siyang aftertaste sa dulo. Yung konting alcoholic. Nalalasama ng wine. Astig! Okay. You, you, you taste the beef? Alam yung yung beef na hindi mo kailangan lagyan ng sauce dahil alam mo yung beef taste. Pero sa dulo, malalasahin mo ng konting wine. Oh. Ayun. Lalo na if you're munching down the malunggay, doon lumalabas yung yung flavor ng wine. Wow. Solid. Eto, sa itsura pa lang, nakakagigil na. Ito yung uh, native white corn with basil. And then they they roast it. They grill it. And usually, naman, alam naman natin kapag ginigrill, yung aftertaste ng ihaw. Yeah. What a great compliment to your main dishes. Good siding. Ito yung uh, water pako. But locally, they call it water fresh. So fresh na fresh siya dahil water fresh yung pangalan. And katulad na sinabi nga ni Ma'am, ni Ma'am Bing, lahat pwedeng kainin. So they're trying to maximize you know, their farmland. So that's what they're trying to do. At lahat kinakain nga natin. Mm. Okay. The chicken, katulad sinabi ko, munggo. They have their sotang hon, grilled fish, ah, squid salad, and inside, ah, yes, paborito ng lahat ngayon, 
simulan ng 2017 yata tumaas sa merkado ang kale. Alright. So they're maximizing their use of mulberry, mulberry laing. Meron din silang mulberry juice. Sabi nila kapag medyo dark yung color, mas mataas yung oxidants. Kaya ako minin pa natin ng red wine. That's the only reason. Hmm. Parang grape juice. This one? Buko with something citrusy. Mint. Hmm. Yep, I see it. It's like a perfect vacation. I'm overwhelmed. Can't I? Hmm.